What's going on, Aces? Welcome back to the channel. It has been over one year since blogger and YouTuber Tasha K lost to Cardi B in a legal battle over a defamation lawsuit. The gossip blogger has now filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy after claiming that she has less than $60,000 in total assets. Per the U.S. court, a Chapter 11 filing is frequently re referred to as a quote-unquote reorganization bankruptcy. So what this means is usually the debtor remains in possession and has the powers and duties of a trustee. They may continue to operate in um, its business and may, with court approval, borrow new money. So Tasha K made salacious claims that the Bronx rapper had um, an incurable disease um, that she also said that she was a lady of the night <laughs> and used drugs. I'm trying to frame my language to where it's not offensive or it doesn't, you know, offend YouTube community guidelines. But that's basically why, you know, Cardi asked her repeatedly to take the videos down. Um, she didn't. And so Cardi sued her and Cardi was awarded four million dollars in that case and has since voiced that she wants her money from Tasha K, who has repeatedly made jokes online um, talking about how she ain't got it, okay? Like she went to Chase Bank and took out, I believe it was like a little over a thousand dollars or she took out the money and then said that she had, yeah, over a thousand dollars and was gonna give it away on her channel. And, you know, um, she was in Africa um, you know, cause her name is, um, Latasha Kibi. So, and her husband, you know, they went to Africa together. So there's been, um, allegedly people talks about, um, that's maybe where she moved most of her money because she has over a million followers on YouTube. Okay. And she also has Tasha K, um, live.com where she does a lot of work over there. And, you know, that way that um, YouTube can't garnish those checks, right? Because it's her own platform. I believe that recently um, Cardi B got $9,000 from one of, um, you know, Tasha K's YouTube checks. And that's why she started her own uh, platform. It'll be a lot uh, more difficult to garnish those wages. But on Thursday, May 25th, in a federal... In a Florida federal court, um, Tasha, a.k.a. little Tasha Kibi, filed with the claims that she could not pay out the hefty coin to Cardi B. According to Billboard, Tasha's assets total out to $58,595, including a 2021 Chevrolet Silverado, that's collateral, two Louis Vuitton purses, and $95 in her bank account. Um, with her YouTube channel, Unwind with Tasha K, the monetary value of that channel is listed as unknown. But again, you know, she has over a million subscribers, so that coin is substantial. The bankruptcy filings reportedly include that Tasha's Google account asset is worth $10,000, and that was garnished in 2022 by Cardi B's attorneys. A shared income between Tasha and her husband was also listed as $156,021 in the year 2021, $134,861 in 2022 from their online content creation. The document also includes income of $30,000 a month um, from each of the pair. So following the trial um, held earlier this year, jurors sided decisively with Cardi B leaving um, Tasha liable for defamation, invasion of privacy, and intentional infliction of emotional distress. Cardi and her team were awarded more than $2.5 million in damages and another $1.3 million in legal fees. Tasha was then ordered by the judge to pull the videos from the internet, although she was warned multiple times by Cardi's team before. Dang. Um, so Cardi showed relief after winning her case in January 2022 and she tweeted out, think it's a game, but I'm gonna come for everything. And then it says BBHMM, which is Rihanna's title of her song, you know, be better have my money. 
Although the artist and her team have been pushing to get their money for months, with the bankruptcy filing, the mother of two may not see her winnings anytime soon. Tasha joked that she had paid Cardi all of her money on April Fool's, <laughs> April Fool's Day of that year, and um, Cardi begged to differ, okay? So, you know, um, dang, man, like, this is serious. I don't know. I, I think that Tasha K., I'm just, listen, I'm new to the YouTube game. Please share, like, and subscribe if you haven't done it already. Um because defamation is difficult to prove, but if it's out there on the internet, you know what I mean, then a judge is going to see that. And, you know, Cardi said that this was really difficult for her. So $4 million, that's a huge, that's a huge settlement. And that's nothing to play with. Um, but, you know, Tasha, I guess that's her, her way of coping, making jokes. She says um, on Twitter, PSA Winos. A clinking glass emoji. I just paid off my $4 million debt in cash. And she keeps claiming that she doesn't have any money to pay Cardi and that she would be looking for a quote unquote, a part-time gig. So she dressed up in like a McDonald's outfit and was, you know, um, put hashtag Tasha K gets a job. She says, I'll let y'all know what part-time gig I get so I can pay off this, this debt. Hashtag I ain't got it, but I'm going to get it. And then she added, McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King, <laughs> any positions available, I will do anything. So in March, Tasha appealed um, the court's decision, but she lost again. She updated her fans with the judge's decision um, to side with Cardi. She says, we lost the appeal against uh, Cardi B, sad day, but I'm going to be all right. I appreciate all of your love and support. Throughout this fight, today we throw in the white flag. She says, what happened will never happen again. To Cardi and her team, I apologize sincere. We live and we learn. So, I mean, at least she apologized. I mean, it took a year and a $4 million defamation lawsuit. But, you know, some lessons are hard, you know. Um, but that's definitely a, a check that, you know, her mouth couldn't cash. Like, that's a lot. $4 million? Wow. Um, so... I guess the good news for Tasha is that once she has filed a Chapter 11 uh, bankruptcy, the judge has ordered Cardi to put a pause on garnishing her money since she's protected under that um, bankruptcy filing and that she can reorganize her assets so she won't be completely destitute, right? Um, but that she can, you know, work and hopefully make payments to Cardi through her YouTube channel and through her um, Tasha K. comp. TashaKLive.com, you know, her own website, and she can make payments that way because, you know, again, Cardi, I mean, she, I know she wants her money and I know that she basically she doesn't need the money, of course, but she was just trying to send a message that, you know, you can't put out lies about somebody and think that, um, that that's okay. You know what I mean? And I really wish that she, you know, took those videos down when Cardi first asked her. I'm sure she does too. But yeah, so that's why I try to keep things clean. I try to keep it family friendly over here. I always try to put allegedly because <laughs> I know Tasha's <laughs> Tasha's catchphrase is I ain't got it, but I, I show ain't got it. OK, so she has a million um, followers and that's money. So with that being said, y'all help your girl out over here. I will not defame Cardi B or anybody else. <laughs> um, Tasha's case is definitely one to learn from in these YouTube streets. Um, but no, in all seriousness, I really hope that, you know, um, that things work out for both of them. You know, I mean, Cardi going to be all right. You know, she's going to get her money regardless. And Tasha K, I just hope that, you know, like she's, she apologized. So I hope that they can make amends and move forward. With that being said, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe over here. I really appreciate it. If you like my channel, it helps your algorithm as well. And I will talk with you later. Take care, y'all. Bye.